We're back. We're at St Andrews again. I'm looking forward to it. We've already won our first game. We've signed some absolute Spanish ballers. Forgot to sign a striker, but... I'm looking forward to it, I hope you are. So we face Bristol City today. Um, they've made some big signings. It was rumoured that we were after Benica Fobi while we were looking for a striker on deadline day. He's ended up going to Bristol City, so he, he's gonna play against us now, which is a bit rubbish. Obviously, Vassell leaving and stuff doesn't help. But before I get into it, I just wanna say a big shout out to our friends over at OneFootball. They're sponsoring this video. Go check them out if you want. The link is down in the description. It's a really good football app. Honestly, i will go and try it out. I wouldn't recommend it if I didn't love it myself. It's the only one that I use. But let's get into the video. Come on, you blue boys. Come on. Seriously, though, I need to eat. Don't know who we're going to play today. My pre match prediction is going to be 2 2. I think there's going to be goals. I think our defence is still got to get used to things. Um, I think Bristol City are quite a threat. So I'm going to go 2 2. Hopefully, it'll be an entertaining game. And uh, I would take a draw. Obviously, we started off with a win against Brentford, but it weren't really the dong ball performance. Do you think we're going to try and go for it? Do you think we can win today? Well, I've seen the team sheet. We're going four at the back, so I feel like we'll play more passing football and we'll try and keep counter attack. But the, if we sit back, I just feel like we'll get nicked 2 1. Yeah, they're a physical team Bristol they're a tough team but I mean it's not really like Blues usually we're, we're quite similar yeah. to Bristol but we're going to be trying to pass it around him today Villalba makes his start or just uh, Fran as we like to call him good old Fran, good old Fran. do you reckon what what do you think of him are you happy with his signing I saw him under training he's a little magician yeah uh, him and Crowley I feel like that worked well no more. I feel like a score to that feeling, Fran. yeah good man what's your score prediction then 2-2 two, two. take that Keep on. Keep on. Oh! in. And stand up by please, dude. Being fell out about any debut. We are playing some sexy football. Not the golf ball, Well, mate, we're back at St Andrews, a new era, the Spanish era. Uh, obviously, we played against Brentford, didn't really have everyone we needed and stuff like that, we, and it was a bit back to the wall. But are you starting to see now what we're trying to do, and, and do you think it's going to work this season? Um, yeah, we can definitely see what we're trying to do. I mean, today's been a bit, um, a bit of a strange one, because it seems we've gone to the back to a four at the back. We've um, said I'm being dropped out with the team. I'm not sure if Fran's been on the left wing back or anything. But yeah, I can definitely see this working this season. The new players are starting to get really comfortable. You know, popping shots at the goal. And Crowley, Crowley and Fran seem to have a really good link up. You know, the two players in behind. So yeah, I can definitely see them working this season. Um, I mean, hopefully it does, yeah. <laughs> Man, what's your bold prediction for today? Can we get the win? Um, I think it'll be the same as Brentford. I think we'll win at 1 0. Maybe a header from a corner, so it's a scrappy goal. Right. Keep right on. Keep right. Who's your standout player today? Obviously, we've got Villalba who's making his debut. Sort of come out of nowhere, that one. Who's impressing you today? Uh, he's been impressive. I think he's got like, down, the, down the line very well. Um, I think I think Gardner's playing quite well, and I, I think that, uh, Crowley's playing, well, playing really well as well. I think Duke's a bit isolated on his own. I think he needs that strike partner. Um, maybe give me this, I don't know. The defence is still a bit shaky. Um, I'm still scared of Mark Roberts. He, he makes me worried, but yeah, he's playing all right. Playing, playing well. Oh yeah, I think a bit of a surprise one for me today, but I think Davis has performed really well and he's, he's dealt with Bristol City's uh, physicality today. I think. Uh, do you reckon? Because a lot of people were like saying he's not he's not going to fit this system. What's your prediction today? Uh, I'm going to say a one 0 win. Lucky one 0 win. They've had that good chance. 
but uh, I think we just need to yeah, shoot a bit shoot more because we're side to side a lot of it. So I'm gonna say one 0 yeah. Uh, we Duke, Duke, I'm gonna say Duke. Good man, keep right on. Keep right on. That's it! What is on the line? That's cool, <laughs> So I'm back in the car now and I'm just having a little reflection on the game and I've just got to say that that was entertaining. As difficult as it was to sort of lose the lead in, in, the, in the dying minutes like that, but overall I was really happy with it and I was really, really happy with um, Villalba, Fran Villalba, uh, as well as Crowley. Them two, like, they are just so so good at what they do and you gotta think combined Balalba was free but it might be three million and then Crowley was 750k they they're they're brilliant they are brilliant but especially Balalba like he really surprised me today he really impressed me there's just so much about him he would get man of the match if it wasn't for three massive saves by Lee Camp. I think Lee Camp had a really good game. I don't think many, anyone really had a bad game. The only the only the only thing that happened that, that, that weren't amazing was Wes Harding's error. But listen, you're gonna make errors. I think I think they, they got in behind. Like Lee had to make three big saves and um, it just showed that there are gaps in that defence. There are there are problems that we do need to iron out. And Wes Harding was, was really, really good. He went and apologised to literally the whole stadium after the game. And that's exactly why I like him. It's the type of player he is. Like, everyone makes mistakes. you got to own up to him. you got to 
reflect on them, and you got to learn from them. Um, and they happen at the end of the day. I just think, considering it's our first home game of the season, it's the second game of the season, I'm just very impressed at how we've played. How, how like, when we had Zola, it just was nothing like this. We, we just seemed to get it. The players seemed to get it. They're buying into it. It's like Spanish sauce with a sprinkle of Brexit football. And I really, really love it. It was great to see Duke smashing that header. The only thing I thought throughout the game was that Duke did look isolated. He looked like... He looked like we'd, we'd, we'd be starting out up a counter-attack. And he wouldn't... He wouldn't We'd probably need someone with a bit more pace, but he showed me at the end of the day why he's there, why he's starting with that typical Duke header. And can I just say a big shout out to Mark Roberts for that assist? Wow, the touch and the cross. He's a winger, he's the winger we've been looking for. Uh, I also think Davis had a really big game. I've seen a lot of people criticising Davis, probably myself as well included, that not criticising, but just see that he didn't really fit into this style of play. And you can see, he, he does, like, when when we're up against a team like Bristol City, we're a very physical side, very big team. You need someone like Davis in there, and he's shown that he's actually got a little bit of, a bit of sauce about him himself. So, that, that was really good. I, honestly, I'm, I'm really happy with the whole team. I'm happy with the tactics. It was different. We went for four at the back. But, yeah, it worked really well. I don't want to go on too long, but positive signs so thanks for watching guys i really am enjoying getting the vlogs going again uh it's so it's so good especially playing this lovely football um but <laughs> yeah if you did enjoy the video make sure you drop a like on it subscribe if you are new and if you are subscribed hit that notification button and set them to on because uh you have to do that or else they won't tell you subscribe doesn't mean a lot anymore basically um but yes thank you for watching and i'll see you later keep right